Welcome, witches, wizards, muggles, nomages, at Len No Magic. I am Victoria McLean, bringing Hogwarts to you every Tuesday and Thursday, 6 p.m. GMT time here on my YouTube channel. And today I want to talk about something extremely sparkly. So for me, this is where the magic starts. Welcome everybody to Thestral Thursday. I have what I want to talk about here. I have wanted to talk about this for a while, but as you know, when I mention it, there were some technical difficulties. My husband got hold of it and broke it. It's all fixed now, but today I'm going to talk about the stunning Ravenclaw diadem. Aren't you all just going, oh my God, that is so beautiful. I love it, look at that. Oh. This is the Ravenclaw Diadem by Noble Collection. It is absolutely just, when I heard this was being made, it was like, oh my God, when can I get it? How soon can I get it? I want it now. That was it, I wanted it now. It is beautiful. It comes in this gorgeous Ravenclaw presentation box. Obviously the box in the film is wood. This is not wood, this is very, very strong cardboard, but it is gorgeous. Okay, it's quite secure in there with the beautiful Ravenclaw crest at the back. These range for, these are 130 pound in with Noble Collection. Wow. <laughs> it's just so pretty. I just want to wear it all the time. So these are, as I said, by Noble Collection. They are 130 pound to buy. Now you can get cheap replicas online, but I'm sorry, nothing compares. Now I can't actually get it to fit because <laughs> my head is awkward size. But look at that. Wow. Just wow. Now on the actual, it's beautifully detailed. It is, they ha there's, there's no detail that hasn't been missed. So you have obviously on it, you have Wit beyond measure is man's greatest treasure written there. So you can see that beautifully detailed there. All these crystals are loose and dangly, so you can jingle jangle your way. I feel like I need to go back a bit just to kind of put it on my head. I'm obviously wearing my Ravenclaw robes because I'm a proud Ravenclaw. And my beautiful Ravenclaw diadem, beautiful, stunning carrot stone necklace with Swarovski crystals. But this is just, oh, I just feel like a princess. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm a bit over TT today, but when you have something this stunning upon your head, you can't help but wonder why aren't you a member of the royal family? <laughs> it's just so pretty. Now, I was looking into the history of um, the Ravenclaw diadem. It's very interesting because obviously in the films, you don't know much about it. The first time you hear about it is obviously Deathly Hallows Part 2 when. Uh, Harry goes into the room of requirements. Everybody's there, obviously, from the DA. It's always Rowena, Rowena Ravenclaw's lost diadem, the lost diadem of Ravenclaw. And then, of course, Cho's is like a crown tiara. But it's been lost for centuries now. No one alive, there's no one alive who's seen it. I can't do an accent, I'm so sorry, that was really bad. But I tried, I, I need credit, I did try. So this is that tiara, obviously, in the box. It is laying flat like this as Harry sees it in the room of requirements. In the wooden box, he can hear the ringing, which is obviously that indicates that it is um, a Horcrux. Okay, so the history of this is really intri intriguing. Now, this belonged to Rowena Ravenclaw, obviously the founder of Ravenclaw House in Hogwarts. She, uh, in, she, uh, put a spell on this so whoever wore it became wiser so why I haven't become wiser and far more intelligent I don't know it's obviously not working I've got a faulty one here so whether I should I don't know tap it or no one add one is two two yeah two two add two, two, two is four yeah okay I'm definitely more improved anyway so this was um enchanted with a spell to make the wear hey, it stay in there so the stone in the center in the film is meant to be a beautiful blue sapphire and then of course these are encrusted with diamond sapphires here as well. 
and it would have been silver. So Rowena Ravenclaw placed the spell upon the diadem to make the wearer wiser. Unfortunately, her daughter became very jealous of this fact and actually stole the tiara from Rowena Ravenclaw. She fled the country. Now, the whole time Rowena Ravenclaw actually kept this a secret from the founders of Hogwarts until her death. So she literally died not, um, not telling anyone the secret that, that Helena Ravenclaw had actually stolen this from her. So Rowena Ravenclaw sent the Bloody Baron to find Helena Ravenclaw. The Bloody Baron was madly in love with um, Rowena Ravenclaw, so he did her bidding. He found her in a forest in Albania. Unfortunately, Helena Ravenclaw refused to come back with him, so he stabbed her and killed her. Um, upon this, obviously, this devastation of realizing what he'd done, he then just, um, stabbed himself because I don't think he could face what the truth and obviously go back to tell his beloved what he'd actually done to her own daughter before she died. Now, um, Helena Ravenclaw had stored this in a trunk, in a hole in a tree in the forest in Albania. Um, obviously her spirit then went back to Hogwarts where, as we know, Tom Riddle, Tom Marvolo Riddle, had actually interrogated the ghost to find out where the diadem was. Now, after he finished at Hogwarts, he then fled to the forest, managed to retrieve the tiara. Um, he killed an Albanian peasant, obviously encrusting this um, with one of his, with part of his soul, making it another Horcrux. Um, and then he brought the diadem back to Hogwarts where he actually uh, went for the job as the Defence Against the Dark Arts. Now, this is where we have been told that uh, Lord, uh, that, uh, sorry, Lord Voldemort, that Tom Marvolo Riddle actually placed a curse on any teacher that took the part up from there. So that's why the teachers only lasted one year each time. While he was there, while he was at Hogwarts, he then discovered, before he actually finished Hogwarts, apparently he then discovered the Room of Requirements. Now, obviously Lord Voldemort, Tom Riddle, was very arrogant and naive and didn't realize that he wasn't the only person who'd found um, the Room of Requirements at this point. Personally, I think seeing the room full of things would have been a big giveaway. You know, people are hiding stuff there for centuries. He might kind of switched on and then thought, oh, hang on a minute, that's new. That wasn't there before, you know, let's face it. But he really did think he was the only one who knew the true secrets of Hogwarts. But then again, this is coming from a guy who couldn't love, didn't understand love and didn't want to know about love. So, you know, end of story. So as I said, while he was there for the job for the Defence Against the Dark Arts teacher, he actually hid the diadem in the room of requirements, thinking nobody would ever find it. Now, of course, he wasn't offered the job, cursed the, the job itself and any teacher who tried to have it. Um, it wasn't until, obviously, Harry then realised he had part of, obviously, Voldemort's soul inside him so he could see his thoughts. At the time in the film, um, Lord Voldemort is actually thinking about the Horcrux, this Horcrux here, um, and that he had to protect it. And those thoughts then obviously went inside Harry's head. And he realized then it was something to do with Rowena Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw Tower and Hogwarts. This is where they made the connection with um, the Ravenclaw diadem that had been lost for centuries. Now, luckily, Luna Lovegood is a very intelligent girl and realized that she needed to speak to somebody who had been around for centuries. And obviously this is where Harry then speaks to Helena Ravenclaw. So during the time that Harry speaks to Helena Ravenclaw, obviously she hints then that it is in the room of requirements. Obviously Harry had been there before where he hid the, um, the advanced potion making book, so he knew where to go, which was brilliant. He obviously heard the Horcrux love him as he was part, as he was one of them. Obviously, I don't, he didn't realize by this time. Um, and that is when they destroyed it by the magical fire. Don't know the name of it. I'm really terrible with the spells. But this is the story of the diadem. And I absolutely, this is the longest I've ever had it on my head. <laughs> I love it, it's so beautiful. I do feel like a princess. I honestly, I think we should tell, take some selfies and maybe give Kylie Jenner a run for her money. <laughs> I wish. It's so pretty, so, so pretty. Okay, that's it, I'm done. I'm wearing it for the rest of my days. Yeah, I'm gonna get buried in this now. This is me, I'm done. <laughs> wow, isn't it beautiful though? Isn't it a stunning piece by Noble Collection? Now Noble Collection are really clever because um, I say they're really clever, I think they're really clever. Um, they are actually given either the item or detailed photographs, dimensions in every single aspect of the piece and that is where they copy it piece by piece. I love it. It is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 
I just wish it would stay on my head. When I had my Yule Ball, I think I said in one of my videos a couple of weeks ago, when I had my Yule Ball back uh, November last uh, in 2017, um, the, the amazing uh, two broomsticks were there selling their items and they had these in the shop and people were actually buying them there and then wearing them for my ball because it just matched their outfits because they were so glamorous such beautiful 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 outfits and I have to say this is one of my favorite noble collection items 130 pound the link will be below this video they are still available but I've got to be honest I think this might be one of the items that they're going to be retiring soon I get a feeling they are so get them as soon as you can I love it, it's beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel, invite your friends, and also like this video and let me know down below in the comment section, what did you think of this video? What would you like me to cover? Until then, thank you so much. Take care, I love you all, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye-bye.